Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to look at verse 4 of the Letter Cluster Phonics Song. Let's look in the first box and we have the phonogram CH. CH makes three sounds. What are they? That's right. Ch and sh. In some of the earlier verses, we used ch for cherries and for child. Remember that in verse one? And then we sang sh for Charlotte's chandelier. Turn it on so pretty, dear. Well, now we're going to sing the second sound of ch. CH says k. Here we have k for chorus. A chorus is a group of people singing together. And we also hear the second sound of CH in the word school. It's following the S sound, but listen for the k. School. School is spelled S-C-H-O-O-L. So we have k for chorus and R. Now we have another phonogram, P-H. What sound? That's right. F, f for phone. So P-H says the same sound as the letter F. And here we have a picture of a, a phone. I don't know if you've seen this type because it's not a cell phone, is it? But some people have these phones plugged in at home and to what we call a landline. For phone, listen to the dial tone. Well, I'll tell you in the old days, when you picked up a phone, it made a certain sound and that was called the dial tone. That meant you're, you're ready to be able to dial the number. We don't have that anymore. Not on our cell phones anyway. Okay, next we have the letter U. And the letter U says, what sound? That's right, a Ooh, you, uh. Here we're looking at the last sound that you makes, the uh. It's like you're getting socked in the stomach, right? Uh, uh. You says uh in words as pull, p, uh, oh, pull. And here we have a boy who's pulling a wagon with his dog inside. I bet his dog likes that. Sound it out with me. P push. Push. And here's a girl pushing a stroller with a baby inside. And let's sound it out together. P uh Put. And this girl is putting a book on the bookcase shelf. And b -ul. bull. Oh, he looks like a friendly bull. It looks like he's smiling at us. And sound it out. That's right. Full, full. This glass is full of pink lemonade. You says uh in words as pull, push, and put, and bull, and full. Now we have another phonogram. We have UI. U-I follows the two vowels get together. 
where the first one speaks and says its letter name. UI says the long sound of U. But remember, U, its long sound is usually ooh, ooh. So UI says ooh for suit. This is a suit, a nice jacket and pants. Suit. And then we have the companion to UI. UI is oo that we may not use at the end of English words. If we're spelling a word, we can't end it in UI. But UE is an oo that we may use at the end of English words. And you know why? Because we have the silent E doing one of its jobs. One of its jobs is to prevent letters like I, J, U, or V from being the last letter in a word. So we have OO for, and here's a word where UE is used at the end to spell the sound of OO, glue glue. So we have, let's start up at the beginning, K for chorus, F for phone, listen to the dial tone. U says uh in words as pull, push and put and bull and full. Oo for suit and oo for glue. We're so happy now we're through. If we sing this well indeed, then it's time for us to read. All right, let's sing it with the music. We'll put the two verses together and sing verse three and four with the music. Hello, boys and girls. Are you ready to sing verses three and four of the Letter Cluster Phonics song? I have my magic wand ready. And I'm going to point as we sing together. Do you have your good singing voice? Nice and loud, ready? All right, I'll point with my magic wand and you use your magic pointer in your songbook. Get ready. Oh, my. 
excellent. Keep practicing and I'll see you at your next lesson.